this is Lynn for Superimpose X and today we're going to go through sessions. A session is essentially a project, so I'm going to show you how to create a new session or project and how to go back and continue working on a previous session. You find your sessions by tapping the folder icon in the top right corner and as you can see I have two previous sessions. You can open one up by just tapping on it and that brings you to the editor where you can continue working on it. If you want to go back to sessions, you tap this icon here at the top with the four little squares and that brings you right back to where we started. So there are three different ways that you can create a new session. From a photo, from a color or color gradient, or from the pasteboard. So starting off with photos, you'll find that tab in the top left corner. The image that you pick is going to be the background layer for your project, so choose the photo that you want as the bottom layer. At the bottom here you have all of your folders and you can open up any image by simply tapping on it. If you want to crop the image, you can do that here, but if you don't want to do that, just go ahead and tap choose. We're going to go back by tapping the four squares here at the top again, and now let's take a look at colors. So if you want to create a project that has a colored background instead of a picture, you can go into colors and start a session from here. You can either choose a solid color background or you can create a gradient. There are three different types of gradients to choose from. H gradient, which stands for horizontal gradient, V gradient, which stands for vertical gradient, and R gradient, which stands for radial gradient. So choose the look you want and then by tapping the color boxes, you can choose the two colors you want in your gradient. By tapping the different dimensions here at the bottom, you can also decide what format you want your session to have. Once you're done, just go ahead and tap choose. Let's go back again and take a look at the third and final way to start a new session, which is the pasteboard. Using the pasteboard, you can start a session from a picture that you've copied. So that way you don't have to save the picture to your photo library, you can just simply copy it and it will automatically show up in your pasteboard. As you can see, I haven't copied a picture, so my pasteboard is empty. But if I go into Safari and look up a picture that I want to use, I can tap and hold and choose copy. And now when I go back into the pasteboard, this picture is going to be there and I can start a session with this as the background layer. In order for a session to actually save and show up in your stored sessions, you have to make an edit to the project. As soon as you make a change, like for example, we could go into filter and basic and bring up the exposure a little bit. And now this project will automatically save as a session. So if we go back to sessions, you will now see this as a saved session. From here, you can of course open any of your previous sessions up, you can start a new session, but if you try to open this current session, you will see that it says that this project is already active. So in order to go back and continue editing it, just tap the cross icon in the top right corner. I'm also going to just briefly touch on layers. We have a whole separate tutorial dedicated to just layers, so I won't go into too much detail right now. But if you wanted to add more images and create a little collage, you would go into the layers tab and tap the plus icon here to the right where it says add layer. I'm going to choose photo layer and pick a photo from my library. Then we're going to go into transform so that we're able to move the picture around. Using two fingers, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and place it where I want it. I want to add one more image, so again I'm going into Layers, tapping Add Layer, Photo Layer, the picture that I want, and then Choose. I'm going into the Transform tab and positioning it how I like it. So there we have a super simple little collage. In order to save this as a finished image to your photo library, just simply tap the second icon to the left here at the top. I want to save the whole collage, so I'm going to choose a blended image. You also have the option of different formats. JPEG, JPEG HQ, which stands for high quality, 
or PNG. PNG is going to give you the best quality as it uses lossless compression, but it will also take up the most space on your phone. So it all just depends on what you want to use the image for, but if you're planning on keeping it on your phone or posting it to Instagram for example, one of the JPEG formats will be just enough. You can choose to share it or open it in another app, but I'm just going to save it. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to delete or duplicate a session. As you can see, they all have these three little dots in their top right corner. If you tap it, you have the option to duplicate the session or to delete it. If you duplicate the session, that will create a copy of that session, which is really helpful if you want to try something new with that project without the risk of ruining it, because you're still going to have the original project save as a separate session. Or you can tap the three dots to delete a session. And if you try to delete the active session, the one that you currently have open, you're going to get this extra pop-up just to make sure that you really want to delete it. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X. And if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there.